Good morning and welcome back to Posse Adventures. Uh, welcome back to the Brisbane Ranges. Uh, we've been away for a while. Um, haven't been able to post any content because we've been working on our property, um, trying to get it ready to, to list on the market. So I'm just going to swing the camera around and just show you what we've been up to. So what we've done, these areas here were um, pretty overgrown. There was a lot of bushes and just crap really. Stuff that we didn't really want. Um, it was also quite a fire risk for a bushfire prone area. Um, we didn't want too much growing up against the side of the house. So what we've done is we've um, dug it all out. We've hired a digger, we dug it all out. We've um, put in a lot of this rock, um, Salt Creek, and we've put some planters in. I've also, in the process of running a, a watering system to them as well. Not that they need water with today's weather. I mean, it's been so wet, it's unbelievable. We've redone all the borders. They were all very rotten. Uh, we've obviously bought these water features, which we've put in. We've done a couple of those. This area over here, which again, just needed weeding and sorting out. Um, water feature there mulch we've cleaned out inside this area here which leads to our ensuite but um, we're going to mulch all of that as well just to make it look a lot nicer I'll just give you an idea poke the camera through that's what that looks like and then I'll take you to the other side Oi! Shut up! And then this side, same same story again. Obviously planter boxes, they're all plumbed in with... Um, we've put a watering system in for them. Another water feature. I've just got to finish the rendering on the side here, which has been a couple of years, to be honest. But uh, haven't got round to it yet, but uh, I've got to do that. Obviously the gutter's got to be redirected. We had to do that um, just as a temporary measure to stop the, the rainwater coming straight in when we were laying this slab. So lay the slab. This tank here is going on it. And obviously that will feed into the watering system that we've got with um, electronic pump. Obviously had some power sockets put on the walls as well. So that's where we are at this stage with the property. Still got plenty of work to do on it. Um, we've had a lot of cleaning up that we've done as well. Um, so what's what's on the agenda for today? Well, we've got the public holiday um, for the, the Queen's death and also for the um, AFL Cup. So um, the grand final. So we're going away. We're going to go be going to uh, Warburton Bridge. We've got a few friends that we're meeting up with there. Um, family trippers Oz style are coming as well so um, we're gonna get the van hitched up um, it's been a while so it'll take me a while to remember how to do that we're gonna get it hitched up and we're gonna tow it out of here catch up with you later so we're all hitched up and we're now heading out through to Dalesford and on to Warburton's bridge um, so yeah, let's see what this place is like. It's not one that I've been to before, so be uh, interesting to see. It's got quite a high, quite a high rating on Wiki Camps. Uh, so I think it's four stars. So let's see whether it's justified. Well, I made it to Warburton's Bridge Camping Ground, and what a stunning area it is. It's um, really nice campground. Um, the drive-in is really picturesque as well. So um, it's a big thumbs up from me um, for this campground. It is pretty busy here, um, but I'll spin the camera around and just give you a show around. Um, we're all set up at the moment. Okay, so this is the campground. You've got the river down here. Let's take a look-see. Now, 
did meet up with the um, the ranger from Parks. Um, and just a word of warning to anyone camping here. This plant here is hemlock. It's quite poisonous. Looks like uh, carrot a little bit. But it's definitely not. So keep your animals away from it. And obviously your kids. There's a lot of it, but because of the wet weather, they've been unable to spray it. I'll try to walk down here without slipping because it seems like it's pretty slippery. Water level's very high. Oh, yeah, it's very slippery. I don't know whether there's fish in here. My guess would be there is. So I might bring the um, fishing rod down here later. Have a little flick. Anyway, as I say, it is very slippery. So you don't want to slip and fall and fall in a load of hemlock. So we've got uh, the ranger set up to um, block off that area because we've got uh, three more vans coming so we're going to have one in here and then we'll have one over there and then we'll have one in here. There is a drop toilet just over there. And yeah, you can see it's pretty pretty busy. Anyway, the rest of them will be getting here about eight o'clock tonight. So we've got the um the Oz pig set up. She's going well. On the basis, I think we might get some wet weather this weekend. Uh, I'm going to cook myself some lunch on that shortly. Got a bit of heat in it. Got my solar panels out. Yeah, we're all set up. Bit of wood. Chair. Tiny will be down at some point over the weekend. Morning at the campground. Getting a bit of solar, sun's up, making the most of it. Yeah. Lit the pig up, do breakfast on this in a minute. Take a while just to get it warm. And then we're gonna go out and see if we can um, harvest some wood somewhere. So they come with a fairly big fire pit, but uh, obviously you go through the wood pretty quick. So we're going to see if we can find some. We've got chainsaws with us, so. So the pen prices are up. This is my new one. That's a GoPro 11. So. Is there a GoPro 11? <laughs> 11 and a half, this one. So. Good morning and welcome back. Welcome back to Posse Adventures. We're here at... Um, Warburton's Bridge. Um, nice sunny morning. So I'm just going to flick the camera around and we'll walk around the campsite and just show, show you what the campground looks like. Okay, so um, obviously starting from the entrance off the main road. <coughs> Loddon. So it's the Loddon River that the campground sits along. Go, it 
this. And there we go, it's Warburton's Bridge. Is an old wooden bridge. The river's flowing well. Have to think there'd probably be some good fish in here. So let's take a look at the campground itself. Pretty busy. So it's Warburton's Bridge, Castle Main Diggins National Heritage Park. Plenty of walks around here. And as you can see, it's popular. Yeah, Tiny didn't come with me this time. She did pop up last night and we went to um, Dalesford and had a really nice Indian meal at the Taj Mahal, which is a great Indian restaurant if you've ever in the area tried out. Definitely give it five stars. So we've got the CX22 all set up. Unfortunately, Tiny kept the Starlink, so had to make do with the Nemo antenna, but we've had a good internet here, no problem. <clears throat> I have got drop toilets, not that we've used them, but they look fairly fresh. As you can see, there is room for a lot of vans. Just have to be creative with how you get them in. But it's been a beautiful weekend. Weather's been good. We haven't seen any rain at all. Unbelievable how many vans they got in there. And that's just about the end. Time to go back to the van now and get some breakfast on. We get the pig lit up and see what we can have for breakfast.
we've got quite a group <coughs> with us today for this weekend. So we've got Michelle and Jason with Chelsea. That's family trip as our star. Ray and Natasha are in this one. And then we've got Jason and Mitch in this one here, which is a new van. And obviously that's Family Trippers Golf Savannah. <laughs> good weekend away we met some new friends um, so heading home now back to work tomorrow earn some more money and uh, obviously get ready for the next trip away um, so the place that we stayed at which was um, Warburton's Bridge really nice campground uh, it's got drop toilets there fairly new uh, didn't use them we had obviously our own toilet in the in the caravan anyway um, lots of lots of things to do in that area there's um, quite a lot to see it's actually in the heart of the gold fields um, right on the gold fields track so yeah if you're in that neck of the woods and you want to find somewhere nice for a couple of days it's it's actually a really good campsite um, anyway I'm gonna head off home now um, stopping off on Dalesford to empty the toilet there's a there is a free dump point in Dalesford or just on the outskirts 
um, and also fill up my water tanks. So if you're camping in the um, in the area of Dalf Dalesford or Mount Franklin, Warburton's Bridge, anywhere like that, on the way out of Dalesford heading towards Balan is a football oval soccer club and here you can get rid of your rubbish, there's toilets, potable water just there so you can fill your tanks and just over there there's your dump point. It's right opposite the uh, caravan park. So there we go. Well, that's us all done. Tanks are filled for next time. Let's get home and get this disconnected. Okay guys, well thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed Warburton's Bridge. Um, great campsite, very busy this uh, on this occasion, um, but then it's an extended long weekend um, and obviously everyone's getting out and about, the weather's getting better. Uh, we had a fantastic time there. Um, so if you're enjoying the content, please give us a thumbs up. Any comments at all, stick them down the bottom. Um, I'll get round to answering as many as I can. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please uh, subscribe. It does help the channel. Um, helps us to grow and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Cheers